Well, it has been our honor to bring you stories today from the Tree of Life Synagogue and the commemoration at Shenley Park. Let's head out to the park one more time where Ken Rice has some final thoughts. Ken. Christine, Kim, you know, as much as this was inevitably a day of grief, a day of mourning, a somber occasion, it was also a day filled with hope. Hope represented by the grove of trees behind me, newly planted, one for each of the 11 victims who were killed at the Tree of Life. Hope represented by the various clergy members who showed up for the commemoration today, offering an interfaith show of support. We've seen that type of activity before, going back to the very beginning of this ordeal, but to see it renewed today was powerful. And hope represented by the community coming together, hundreds of people coming together here in Shenley Park today to hold up those who still suffer, those still feeling the grief. Before the ceremony began today, I ran into Andrea Wedner, there were 13 worshipers who were shot at the Tree of Life. Two survived. Andrea Wedner is one of them. I asked her if this would be an ordeal to endure today. She said no. She said that the coming together matters. It's important. She has felt elevated by all the people reaching out to her, all the text messages that she's gotten. And maybe that's what it's going to be. The community coming together to support Andrea and her fellow survivor, Dan Legger, and all of the others directly affected by the tragedy, that the coming together will be our path out of the grief. Christine, Kim. Very well said, Ken. Thank you for those thoughts.